This is the model DV5 Deluge Valve Dry Pilot Actuation Fire Protection System shown ready for operation. The central component of the system is the model DV5 Deluge Valve, a diaphragm style automatic water control valve used in deluge pre action and special types of fire protection systems. Its single moving part, the diaphragm, depends upon water pressure in the diaphragm chamber to hold the diaphragm closed against the water supply pressure. The system supply contains water under pressure, shown here in blue. In the set condition, water supply pressure is applied to the DV5 waterway inlet, the DV5 diaphragm chamber, the Model MC1 manual control station, and inlet of the Model DP1 dry pilot actuator. The system is open to atmosphere in the location shown here in orange. This includes the system piping with open sprinklers or nozzles, the alarm trim, model AD1 automatic drain valve, and the model ASV1 automatic shutoff valve pilot chamber. The actuation system is shown here in yellow. The dry pilot actuation system is equipped with fire detection dry pilot devices such as the model FTR1, fixed temperature release, or automatic sprinklers. These are pressurized by air through an optional model AMD1 air maintenance device and the pilot port of the model DP1 dry pilot actuator. The system is actuated by the operation of a dry pilot device. Operation of a dry pilot device releases the air pressure holding the dry pilot actuator closed. This releases the water pressure from the diaphragm chamber faster than it can be replenished through the 1 8 inch restriction provided by the automatic shutoff valve in the diaphragm supply connections. This results in a rapid pressure drop in the diaphragm chamber and the force that holds the diaphragm in the set position is reduced below the valve trip point. The water supply pressure then forces the diaphragm open permitting water to flow into the system piping and spray from all open sprinklers or nozzles, as well as through the alarm trim to actuate the system alarms. As water flows into the system, the automatic shutoff valve pilot chamber becomes pressurized and shuts off the diaphragm chamber supply, preventing the DV5 diaphragm chamber from becoming repressurized and thereby preventing the DV5 waterway from closing during a fire. Let's take a look at the system in action. To reset the valve after the fire is under control, the main supply control valve is manually closed to shut off the water supply. The diaphragm chamber supply control valve is also closed. Then the main drain valve, system drain valve, and all auxiliary drain valves are opened to drain water from the system. Once the system stops discharging water, close all drain valves except the main drain valve. Depress the plunger of the automatic drain valve to verify that it is open and the system is drained. Clean the Y strainer in the diaphragm chamber supply connection trim. Reset the dry pilot actuation system by replacing all operated dry pilot devices. Open the diaphragm chamber supply control valve to apply full pressure to the diaphragm chamber, forcing the diaphragm to close the DV5 waterway. Finally, slowly open the main supply control valve and close the main drain valve once water begins to discharge from the drain. The system is now ready to return to service.